This is non-calculator question number 10 from SAT test 1. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and, and the value of that equation at a particular x and asks for the value at another point. One way to do this, and it's slightly slower but very reliable, is to solve for a. When x is 4, g of x is 8. So 8 equals a times 4 squared plus 24. So 8 equals 16a plus 24. Subtract 24 from both sides of the equation. Remember, you always do the same thing to both sides of an equation. 8 minus 24 is negative 16, and that is 16a. So a equals negative 16 over 16 is negative 1 if you divide both sides by 16. Now that we have a, we can rewrite g of x equals negative x squared plus 24. So g of negative 4 G says whatever's in the parentheses, you square that number and add 24. Minus, I'm sorry, you take the negative of that number squared and add 24. Negative 4 squared is positive 16, so the negative of that is negative 16 plus 24. G of 4 equals positive 8. A shorter answer, we observe that G of x only has an x squared term and a constant. G is an even function. So g of negative x equals g of negative x. I'm sorry, g of negative x equals g of x because g is even. And so g of negative 4 equals g of 4, which is 8. Either way, we get the same answer. College Board often asks you to use the f of x, g of x notation. So it's important to get comfortable with this, even if you haven't used it much. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.